Do you know how shrimp are caught and processed in factories? Agriculture technology. As one of the world's top seafood consumers, shrimp is one of the most widely consumed. For all of the shrimp that Americans eat, one might wonder how do shrimpers catch those delicious wild-caught shrimp? Well, watch till the end, click, subscribe, and the bell button on our channel to see how shrimp are caught and processed. Enjoy! What is surprising to many is that shrimp are an annual crop that is inherently sustainable. The shrimp that are processed here are caught in the warmer waters of the Gulf of Mexico and South Atlantic mostly. If these shrimp are not harvested, processed and eaten, they will die off or be consumed by larger fish in their wild environment. Each year, a new crop of new shrimp will grow and become ready to be harvested. Shrimpers have been generally using the same basic technique to trawl for shrimp using boats or trawlers, with advancements mainly serving to increase efficiency and improve environmental stewardship. Shrimpers are inadly interested in sustaining the environment and the shrimp fishery because their livelihoods depend on it. The trawl net shape is similar to a flattened cone but the wide front end that allows for a large range of capture to make them more easily caught. The trolls are then hauled in, where the catch is released on deck, gathered and iced, or frozen for further sorting and processing. As we see in the video, the average shrimp boat typically can incorporate up to four trawls. Once the shrimp are on board, they must be handled quickly and carefully. Exposure to sun and wind on deck should be avoided, otherwise spoilage will be increased and chilling made more difficult. An awning should be ridged over the deck in warm weather. The catch is a first sort are cold, other fish, dead or damaged shrimp, 
and rubbish are removed. The shrimp are then washed thoroughly in sea water to remove any remaining mud or sand and to reduce bacterial contamination. For the best, whole raw shrimp should be processed at factories close to the ports of landing. For freezing shrimp at sea, the thawed product can then be used for further processing in the same way as fresh shrimp. Whole raw shrimp on receipt at the factory are first graded for size. Since large shrimp are generally more valuable than small ones, and mechanical peelers require a supply of shrimp within a fixed size range. Small shrimp that are uneconomic to peel are either discarded or are used in chopped form as raw material for various products. Shrimp are cooked to provide a product that is ready to eat and to loosen the meat and the shell prior to peeling. Cooking time is important. About three minutes is long enough to fully develop the flavor and texture of the shrimp meat and to loosen the meat from the shell. Overcooking can destroy the flavor and can cause loss of weight. The shrimp should be cooled immediately after cooking. Shrimp are often consumed without any further cooking. Therefore, particular attention must be paid to agent and sanitation. Machine peeling results in far less recontamination of cooked shrimp than hand peeling. Provided the peeling machines are cleaned at frequent intervals. And here we go to packing processing. The peeled meats can be frozen individually or in blocks. Meats can be frozen in either an air blast freezer or a liquid nitrogen freezer. Frozen cooked shrimp meats should be stored at minus 30% Celsius. The wet pack process can be modified for packing shrimp meats in plastic bags like this. Shrimp meats can be used in the preparation of a number of seafood products, including paste, spreads, crisps, soups, bisque, sauces, and other prepared dishes, most of which can be stored for long periods after freezing or canning. Thank you for watching the video. Any other agriculture technology that you want us to have included, let us know in the comment section. See you in the next video.